Lethal out. What is going on everyone, Griffin here coming at you with some Dahlia gameplay and today we're going to talk about the objection is broken. So we're going to be doing things a little bit differently in this video. So I was having some OBS issues whenever I recorded the gameplay of the new map and the new update. It only recorded the desktop audio, which is just the game audio. I have everything split around so I can make edits and things like that and adjust everybody's volume and mix it correctly. But unfortunately, it only recorded the one audio out, which was the desktop. So I'm just going to lay all of this on top of it. It's going to be what it's going to be. Just bear with me until we get all this stuff figured out. But we're going to talk about the objection today. So the objection in the Neochrome update got a massive buff to it. So what they did to it was they increased the clip size from 30 to 40. They also increased the body damage from 11 to 12. And this is a very substantial change to a weapon that I feel like wasn't utilized very well uh, in the past since Dahlia has been released. I know that this weapon hasn't gone through a lot of ebbs and flows, especially compared to other weapons like the KA-30, the HRM, even the Riptide a little bit, um, the MXR, absolutely. It's kind of been released. It's maintained what it's maintained. We've got a couple of things here and there, but nothing as substantial as this, in my opinion. Um, with them increasing the clip size, it actually... It prolongs the TTK of the weapon. Whenever you increase the body damage of the weapon, it's going to increase the TTK for the weapon. So not only is the TTK of the weapon going up slightly, but it's also getting prolonged slightly because of that extra clip size. And in saying that, it feels like the objection up close right now is the best weapon in the game. Now there's a lot of arguments for other weapons, um, especially SMGs in the game right now, that can definitely take it down. And you could even throw shotguns into that mix. I do definitely feel like the arbitrator and the objection can definitely face off head to head. And it's going to be very close as to who actually wins that matchup whenever you take into consideration something like the knight especially if you don't have that upgrade path and it's just bare bones knight this is definitely going to beat it every single time unless you are very very consistent with your headshots and i feel like that's where the objection have has always kind of shown in my opinion that's where it shines the most is whenever you're in these very close quarters engagements because as it stands right now and the way that this weapon should continue to stand is out of like 8 to 10 meters, you're looking at doing 9, 8, 7 damage, whatever it is, because of that damage fall off. And I like that about this weapon because it offers a very unique play style whenever it's in the hands of Dahlia. Dahlia has the Executioner. You're able to pair the Executioner, of course, with the Objection, and you're able to kind of get the best of both worlds. A lot of people compare the MXR to the Executioner, and I think that that's a very fair comparison in my opinion. So you kind of have the best of both worlds with her kit as is. Where you kind of fall into some of the pitfalls when it comes to these weapon balance changes is something that we talked about last week. Weapon mastery. Whenever you start giving this weapon to other rogues that have different abilities and different perk sets, that is where we start running into a problem here. A lot of people have been running the objection with Lancer lately and instead of the Arbitrator because of that very, very fast burn down potential. And I think that that is something that we're going to continue to see more and more until Weapon Mastery either isn't a thing in the game anymore or until the developers decide that they are going to balance the weapons once and for all and not change them anymore and let people actually discover them and, and decide how they want to use them the best way. Um, right now, whenever you run up on a Lancer, she's going to have this. And before you know you're down, you're going to be down. Like It's just going to burn through you that quickly. Whenever you pair the objection up with Dahlia specifically, she really doesn't have the perk set. Of course, the passive abilities play into this, but she really doesn't have the perk set specifically to 
to be in these type of engagements. She doesn't have life drain. She doesn't. She doesn't have berserker. She doesn't have some of these other perks that's going to allow her to have that survivability. Of course, whenever you play rogues or pair with rogues like Lancer or Switchblade or someone like that, you're going to be able to close that gap a lot faster. But you're gonna you're not gonna be able to maximize that potential unless you're playing with a rogue specifically like Lancer. Because Lancer is gonna be able to, of course, close that gap and get into that that optimal burn down range with that weapon. And at that point it doesn't come down to headshots versus headshots. It comes down to if you've got the drop on that enemy and you can maintain consistent shots on them, you're gonna get them every single time. Now one of the pitfalls that I've seen this weapon kind of fall into right now is the actual ammo. Like, you run through a ton of ammo very, very quickly. Which, when if you're playing, like, Demolition and things like that, then that's not really that much of an issue. But whenever you're playing, like, King of the Hill, Strikeout, Respawn game modes, then once you burn through two, maybe three enemies, and you miss a couple of shots here and there, then you're going to have to swap it out with something else. So I guess if you want to technically look at it, that is one way of keeping the weapon balanced, is actually minimizing the amount of ammo that you start with out of the gate. But whenever you're playing something like Demolition or a single life mode like Extraction, then it kind of nullifies that in a big bad way because you get one round. You're going to have enough ammo total to be able to burn down four people if you need to. That's all that you need the ammo for, especially if you maintain consistent shots. You don't do pop shots across the map unless you're using your pistol and things like that. And I feel like that this is something that is going to be looked at by the developers, but I honestly don't think that they're going to do anything about this. We've seen the arbitrator kind of run rampant with Lancer over the last couple of weeks, and we haven't seen any changes come to the arbitrator. They have made a couple of minor changes here and there with maybe the damage range or the fall off, this, that, and the other, but they haven't made any substantial changes to the weapon. And I honestly don't think that we're going to get any substantial changes with the objection either. I feel like they are going to maintain the weapon as is. They may go in there and remove one of the two changes that they made here, but that doesn't really matter because you're either going to extend the TTK or you're going to increase the TTK of the weapon. And either way you look at it, it's going to accomplish the same thing. When you have both at the same time, then it kind of becomes a little bit of a problem. You know what I mean? But much like the Arbitrator, I think that people are going to learn how to play around it. And I think that there's other measures that they could put in the game to kind of help with the situation. Like actually displaying, you know, on the scoreboard, the weapons that the rogues have bought. If you know going into a gunfight that this Lancer is going to have this Arbitrator, then you're not going to get within Arbitrator range of that Lancer unless she comes up behind you or surprises you. You're going to maintain a distance. You're going to use your utility to try to down her, and that's just going to be the way that it is. Well, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think that the objection is broken, or do you think that right now, currently in game, it feels good? Um, also, be sure to check the description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, every Thursday, we will be streaming from 8 to 11 p.m. Central Time. And on Sundays, we're going to start streaming at 10 a.m. Central Time. We're going to be doing Bioshock 2. So if you feel inclined, please be sure to stop by and check that stuff out. Thanks for watching, guys. We won, but we can do it cleaner next time.